day. I'm not going to go after the color green. I'm going to go after the color gold, much like this very loud jacket of yours. So tonight, Chris Shady, Sin, we're going to relive history, my friend. The effects, the main event of Legacy. So many possibilities that could happen. Sin right now is being taken to the woodshed by the WAW champion. I think we're rolling, we're live. We are four weeks out of legacy. I am, of course, greatness himself, Chad Epic. I could go on and on and on, and trust me, I really can. But I'm gonna send it to the ring, because we're gonna start this show the only way it should start, and that's with action. Bring it to Mr. Labrie, cameraman. Welcome to WAW Aftermath. <laughs> legacy Championship, qualifying match one. Entry first in the Valley of Fire, Nevada, accompanied by Moon Star, Pyro! Well, here he comes, the former team champion, former pure champion, of course being accompanied by the lovely, the person who turns in all the right places, more dangerous curves than the Autobahn, Miss Moody Star, looking lovely as ever. Of course, Pyro's trying to ride high after he dumped his partner Falcon at Lord of the Ring and put him on the shelf for 10 months. Coming out second, covered by Dan Lorenzi. Coming from West Point, New York, the all American nightmare, Major Wilson Lorenzi. Well, I guess if you're going to talk about former team champions, you're going to talk about Major Morpheus Morenzi, one and a half of Full Metal Jacket, a former six-time WAW team champion, being accompanied by his wife, Mrs. Morenzi. And this right here is going to be one hell of a contra contradictory style. You got the strength and the power of Major Morpheus Morenzi and the speed and the agility of Pyro. And of course you have the two uh, difference makers on the outside, Miss Morenci and Miss Star. And of course Pyro is uh, spending the time to uh, fold his coat up nice and neat. That's a uh, $5,000 Gucci jacket, doesn't want it tarnished, doesn't want it damaged. He's kind of a prima donna right there, as we all know, Pyro is. I actually think he spends more on hair products than Miss Star does. Well, we got the go on right now. Tie up and Major Morpheus Morenci unloads on Pyro with the big rights. And we have UC Red Guy oh, back in officiating. The suspension has been lifted. Oh, wait, fall away, slam. Pyro up, over, and out of the ring. He might want to rethink his strategy against Major Morpheus Morenci. He's got to use that speed, he's got to use that agility to get the hell away from the All-American Nightmare, the Terminator, Major Morpheus Morenci. And there we go, the speed with the short drop kick to the knees. Throws Moops right into the brutality wall. Steel meet brick, brick meet steel. It's quite a meeting of the minds. But the IQ is probably the same. 
Steel meets steel. That works too. The ring post connecting with probably a distant relative in Major Morphe's Morency's skull. Pyro back in the ring. Red guy counting. Of course, Major Morphe's Morency has to the count of 10 to get back in that ring. And what uh, I don't know if uh, Mr. Labrie. Oh, wow. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pyro is, uh, well, folks, I didn't, uh, I don't know if Mr. Labrie mentioned this, but this was a legacy championship qualifying match, and looks like Pyro is going to legacy for the legacy championship table match. Major Morpheus Morenci getting counted out with, of course, Miss Starr doing the distraction, pulling him out, pulling Major Morpheus Morenci out the last second before he can get him for the count of 10. Well, I don't know, maybe uh, Major Morpheus Morenci looks a little wheezy. Well, you're going to Legacy, sir. Well, there you have it. The first man in the Legacy Championship table match is, of course, Pyro with Moody Star at his side. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to keep the show rolling and take it right back to that ring. The following contest, we sign the singles match rules. It's going to hold one fall to the time of 50 minutes. Entering first, heading for Shreveport, Louisiana, Photo! Well, I will point out something. Voodoo is coming out by himself, which is kind of unusual. I'm actually surprised there's no members. Not one member of ICP is out here with the voodoo. That's... Huh. Aaron Second from North Fort, Virginia. Thank you, Luke Chester. Say your own! Well, here comes everyone's favorite Eagle Scout, Sage Zarello, a man with integrity, justice, and core family values. Oh, yeah. A good friend of mine, the Zarello family. And oh, wait a minute, Sage has something to say. Catchy tune. That's not very nice. It's another map. What? Come on, Captain. He's not coming out, Sage. Fine. You want something you want to know? I am going to get that match, Captain. From hell or high water, I will get that match. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do to you. Well, uh, just like the match before, power and strength versus speed and agility. Sage Zarello versus ICP member. Voodoo, and Voodoo with the clothesline. I mean, Voodoo is probably about 50 pounds soaking wet. Sage Zarello is about 500 pounds soaking wet. 
Oh, wow, double knees taking Sage Zarello down. That's actually very impressive. Voodoo taking the big man off his feet. Kicks him out from under him. He's going to pin him. Wow, that was a kick out with authority. Voodoo, though, ain't stopping. He's going right up. Voodoo flying through the... Voodoo gets caught. Oh! WAW's biggest slam. Oh, wow, what a kick out right there. Actually, he kind of lifted him up, but that's besides the point. I mean, Sage Zarello is obsessed with his brother. Vincent Zarello is over there house for dinner this past Sunday. You want to talk about awkwardness when their family gets together? Big sidewalk slam. One, two. Oh, kick out again by Voodoo, or help out by Sage. The fact is simple. I mean, Sage went to go live with his mother when their, their parents got a divorce. You know, Vince went to live with his dad. I mean, it's a broken family, but a family nonetheless. Every Sunday they still get together. Very tense and hostile with the mother and father, but with Sage and uh, Vinny there, you know, it's a little even more hostile. Plus, I didn't get any damn food. I was quite upset. They had some delicious spread. I didn't get a single thing. And I'm in a voodoo up. Wheelbarrow suplex sending voodoo, almost knocking the dye right out of his hair. As people can cheer Voodoo all he wants, he's literally in there with a Godzilla. The Eagle of Justice. The only member of his family who didn't make it to the military. We won't say why. He's a... Uh, oh, slingshot off the ropes. Back on the knee. Sage Zarello, he was an Eagle of Justice. Uh, excuse me, Eagle Scout. Made it all the way up to the Hour of Light. Unfortunately, his weight prevented him from joining the military. First male in his family in almost 100 years to be denied military service. Maybe he's a little jealous of his brother who made it all the way up to captain. I don't know. S Sage is making a rookie mistake here. Well, actually, I think captain actually bathes every now and then. As we all know, juggalos don't. Wait a minute. Catches him. Tries with the harakarana, but oh, gets brought back. Power bomb with authority to Voodoo by Sage Zarello. I don't even know how long I can condone this. Voodoo is putting up fight. I mean, the guy has heart. I'll give him that. But Sage Zarello is looking at him like he's a Twinkie. And here he goes. Voodoo about to follow. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Almost fighting out of it. Sage catches him, though. Reverse. Oh, a follow the leader to Voodoo. Oh, Well, Sage Zarello sending a message to his brother, but the fact is Voodoo has never done a damn thing in WAW, where his brother's a four-time WAW champion, six-time team champion, Hall of Famer. That wasn't Vincent Zarello. That was Voodoo he just fought. It's going to be a different story if those two ever tangle up. And the fact is, right now, I want you to click out of this link and go to the next link. And you're going to see when you come back as Mr. Labrie introduce the only man who hates power, who's in a position of power, our president. Not mine. I mean, he does pay my checks. Buck DeRoss.